Don't miss TRC's Streetcar Armageddon Race Event at Bradenton Motorsports Park, April 6, 2019. Puppy showed up. This is apparently one of the fastest street cars in the country, or the fastest. The guy did 293 in a mile or some shit. It says 283 here, but apparently he did 293. Bad GT. This is not your average grocery getter. No, sir. This thing is an absolute animal. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Yeah, 293 miles per hour and a little over a mile. Uh, he did 283 in a standing mile. That's that was just silly. That was recorded by Guinness. So it was like a real record. Yeah, he's in the books. Yep. World. So how much power does this thing make? 22, 2400, something like that? We don't know. Not sure, guesstimate? We, we, we say 27, uh, 2380 on an engine dyno at 29 pounds. Wow. And then and we're making 35 plus pounds and we run in more timing, so we're, we're right there. What size, it's a, uh, what size turbos? They're 82, 112s, twin scroll. Wow. They're not that big, but That's they're- That's precisions? Yeah. Yeah. See a nice little precision turbo right there. Street bike old school though, man. Yeah, yeah. You I'll get it back here. I'm gonna be ready, Matt. Oh, I'm a real student. <laughs> Great. Well, Skyline day's over. So that's, that's it. I can't compete with this. This, this makes as much power as all of those cars put together? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. This one stole the show. <laughs> I think the turbos are still spinning, actually. Yeah, if you look in the back window. They usually yeah. spin for like... Oh, yeah. Especially yeah. the, the, the wheels. The wheels. The wheels weigh like two pounds. That dual ball bearing. Yeah. All right. Um, I want to throw a fan on the back so you get some more clean up. What transmission is it? Oh man, it's a Ricardo. But 
but it, everything inside is homemade. The entire, only thing stopped for transmission is the housing. Awesome. Straight cut, 25 offered as like the standard engine um, it was it's just a bone stock it was a nice grade 4 auction 50,000 original mile uh, skyline just a four-door sedan um, and uh, we brought it over here and 
the customer and then did some stuff to it, as oh, you can yeah. see. Yeah. So give us a give us a rundown. It's, it looks like a what a stock RB25. Yeah, so it was just a was, the car came factory uh, RB25 automatic. Uh, the owner of the car uh, is handicapped, so we designed the car around that. Um, we're actually shipping the car to Seattle, where he lives, and uh, he will then get the proper hand controls and stuff for it. But we kind of you know did all this stuff. We don't you know want to certify to install that stuff. So, um, but yeah, we just uh, it's a. It's not the fastest thing in the world, no. but it is an absolute blast. Yes. Like just hearing the noises come from this car, yep. just pulling up next to somebody at a stoplight, you know, yeah. and absolutely was, not expecting anything from this car. And that's the idea. We, we, the, the motor is a stock non-turbo, so it's the higher compression. Um, it's on the 85, but we still, you know, the, the, the customer is what we're looking for, the sights and sounds. It is quick. I mean, it's a, it's a quick car. But uh, yeah, it's, we're not like pushing it to like the very limit or anything like that. The for car, sure. Its point is to be driven and make people smile. And I think it's doing it to you. Oh, so yeah. I think it's working. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Um, so freaking cool. Yeah, but yeah, we just we got it. Put a, uh, put a turbo on. It's a uh, GTX 2871R with uh, just a V-band housing. Um, we had some custom piping made by Hutch's Welding. He's a local welder that does a lot of really great work for us. Um, the wastegate was recirculated back in just for to hear the turbo more. I, I like it. Um, ratchet shift, more ratchet style shifter. Uh, we just put a different intake for looks. And uh, the, the transmission is a really kind of interesting aspect of it. So it's actually an R33 automatic transmission. I forgot the model code, I'm sorry, car nerds. Um, but there is a company in Australia who I forgot what they're called, but they actually sell a mechanical body, mechanical valve body upgrade. So I actually removed nice. the guts out of the transmission, installed this mechanical uh, valve body, and now the- Now you can manually shift it. Manual shift it. Yeah. That's, that's, that's where this comes in. That's you sweet. You feel, it feels great, you know? Chirps gears, down yeah. great. I mean, it's awesome. It's, I mean, I, it's, it's a blast to drive. Super cool car. Um, it's probably making a little under 300 horsepower, and honestly, it's all it needs to do its thing. Oh, it yeah. It does it These so things well. are light, too, it, you know? Yeah, so yeah, exactly. They get up and go. Yeah, and it has an open diff, so it's, so yeah, that'll- <laughs> This is so cool, man. So just curious, like what is what do these things cost, like imported? Like I imagine these are much cheaper than like a GTR. Yeah, um, the, the customer came to us and said that he was looking for a sedan. Um, so I started just doing the, what I call the order import process, where I just start showing people cars through auction and stuff in Japan or things available. And uh, this one came up, uh, this was back in August of last year. And this car couldn't be imported until December. Uh, so he ended up ordering, we stored it for a couple months and then we brought it over. Um, man, these things go for like seven grand. They're not that expensive when they're auto and NA, you know? That's awesome. So it's like a, a four door uh, 240 from Japan. <laughs> yeah. Like what we would have equipment here, you know? Like yeah. 240s are about six, seven grand, you know? And it's the same platform. So I mean, if you're, and I tell people all, all the time with all the cars, like if, it's usually cheaper to do a five speed swap here, honestly, especially if you have plans for the car and all you really want is a chassis, go with the auto one. Chances are the granny that owned this didn't abuse it. She oh, yeah. probably wasn't thinking burnouts on the way to dude. Auto Box or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> this thing is mint. Look, back seat, everything is just everything's minty fresh. Still got the skyline, this floor mat there. Can you see that? Yeah, it's on a hall tech, so we retained all. Oh drivability. no way, it's on a hall tech. On a hall tech, as we retained all drivability. Uh, normally, you can't put a hall tech in the, in the auto ones because it loses the ability for the transmission to, to go into like it's like soft shifts and stuff, so it'll always shift hard. Uh, but because this one's a completely mechanical valve body, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's awesome, man. All tech's only job is to control the motor, like a, on a manual car, and that's what it does. Badass. So we have all the features, flex fuel, it says on a on, you know, full flex fuel, all check controls the boost, monitors, uh, AFRs, keeps everything safe and easy, and I don't know, nothing, nothing bad to say. Yeah, it's great, man. Well, it's definitely a sleeper, that's for sure. <laughs> So sweet. 
sweet, man. Really appreciate you showing us. Of course, no problem. All right, so we uh, messed up a little bit here and forgot to bring the tag with us. So we got another four-door Skyline coming to save us. He's yeah. on the way. Good job, man. Hey, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Nothing like doing some burnouts on the street without a tag, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the law loves that. Here he comes, save the day. All right. <laughs> Cool. So it's uh, obviously like you said, it's a manual valve body, so you manually shift it, and it's just like a be a be a ratchet shifter and pull down to to go up in gear and push up to go back down. All right. One, two, three is just a manual shift, and then you, we wired the factory power button to be the overdrive. Yeah, that's sick. best part we need that here it's about 174 degrees out no but it feels that way <laughs> it's probably 90 the cool in the 90s yeah hey thanks my man yes. this thing is awesome doesn't get more sleeper than this guys all right guys it's been an absolute blast here with hp logic we'll see you next time <laughs>